Okay, now we're gonna add the content in our ad, ad page. So when we click the add button, we go to the ad page. I call it just showing AdWords. So we need to modify that. Okay, to do that, we have to go to our um, add component file. And we're gonna replace this with a panel. AdWords, okay, from your bootstrap team. Alright, so that's a panel. As you can see here, you should change layout and turn, okay. So this is our panel. So we got here a panel header and a panel body at the moment. But uh, it seems so. Uh, near to the top, so we have to adjust it using a CSS. Okay, to do that, we have to insert here another class, which is let's say panel input. Okay, and then we have to define that class panel input in our global CSS, which is in our uh, style uh, CSS. Okay, this one. So what we have to do is starting um, that panel shell put okay. and let's say a margin top of uh, 50 px per pixel okay so let me check our page again it show it should lower uh, it should show lower uh, position so sorry so it now adjusted uh, a bit lower now okay okay what else we can uh, uh, replace the panel header with uh, Okay, add new profile. Okay. Okay. So inside the um, panel, we have to do two columns there one for the photo and the other other column would be for all the fields that we need to input and a, a button so and then um, that will be inside the form okay so basically we need to insert the form first at the profile panel to do that okay be sure that in your uh, app module.ts be sure that uh, you have defined there the form module so be sure that you have inserted this uh, module a uh, form module from angular.forms okay. be sure that you have that entry okay if you if you did then it's okay for you to add the form now Okay, so in the body, panel body, we have to insert a form, okay, and we get here some other properties like a class, um, of class, so this is a bit of class, okay, we have to, so inside the form we have to insert uh, two columns, Using a div, a div, so div class uh, column then empty. Let's say this is four. Okay. And another one. Let's copy that. Uh, 
it is uh, eight, eight in length. So the first column is for the photo. This is where you can insert the photo. And the second column will be for the fields. Okay. So inside that, okay, we class one group. Hashtag and then we have to insert a label. Label there. Okay, and we have the class equals. Um, Goal as it so this is column as in four and uh, form control. Oh, sorry, it should be, and then uh, control label class, okay. and we write the uh, label. So that will be full name. Okay. Then we're gonna insert the input. Input. Okay. So we have this uh, class, double set class, which is um, form control. Okay. And the name would be full name. Let's make it as a required field. And, uh, with the max length, sorry. With the max length of 30. All right, let's check our page. Oh. So we need to adjust this one here. Full name and then the field. So to do that, Okay, so we need to put the input inside the div class of, um, so here it's call column as a small four. We have to column as it here. Okay. I'm going to insert this one. That's it. So we have the full name and the text field. So I just need to put the column here. Yep. So 
So that's uh, another field. So we just make it simpler. We just need to have two fields. So what we have to do is copy this one. The second field will be age. Okay, age. And this one. Name age. Also required field. With the max number of um, one hundred and our minimum number will be one. So I forgot to add here the type, sorry. There should be a number. And this one should be a text. Okay, let's check again our page. Okay, so we got the full name, we got the age. Um, next, we have to add a button here, a two button. One save button and the other one is the cancel button. To do that, let's go to our um, add component HTML. We're gonna uh, add another form group form group class. Okay. Okay, and then inside the farm group class, we insert our button. So we got here one button, button tag, and the other one. For change, let's try an anchor tag. Maybe for the button tag, so this will be a save button, and in the anchor tag, this will be a cancel button. Button tag type of submit with a class. Of a button, button, um, success so that it will be colored green, so that's a button success. And then for the class, we just have to copy the class, and for the anchor, I, I should say, we have to copy the class again, but let's make this. An info, so it could be a color blue. Okay. So let's check our page. Okay, see, it. so we got the save button and cancel button. But we have to adjust the position of these two buttons. Let's put it uh, here. Okay, below the field. So to do that, we had to. Uh, put it inside a div class. So div this thing and then so div class 
we do a column small okay we need to have an offset here of four so we need the length of small eight okay and then we're gonna put this uh, button and anchor tag inside the tag okay let's check our page all right I see it so we already have a field save and cancel buttons okay next we're gonna insert here of our photo where we could upload our, our file photo here okay uh, we've done the second column which includes uh, all the fields and uh, two uh, two button now we have to put an image here in the first column okay so where we could upload our photo so to do that we'll go to so we go to add component.html uh, so we got two columns uh, uh, medium for column and medium eight so we already filled in or finished um, medium eight so in uh, medium four column we're gonna insert here an image uh, placeholder so that image as a c okay then we got a height oh we got oh we got two two height here so height of 180 pixels and width of 200 pixels so if we go to our page okay we can see that's currently black okay we need to put in a default image there go to add component uh, file add component that ts or typescript file set our uh, default image okay so just above the constructor we gonna put here our uh, file file uh, file name okay so our variable is uh, file s file underscore src and as a string and this is the location that is that is in asset images avatar 3.png okay to locate that so mostly all the assets like image images are put in in this folder assets so that is uh, here uh, this is the assets so that is some um, same a root as the app folder so assets folder okay and then these are images and then yeah avatar 3 png so this one okay these two is uh, images we're gonna use later on as an example so that's the asset folders and let's go back to add component.ts after assigning a variable we have to go to add component html file okay and in that src attribute we're gonna interpolate put an interpolate sign there okay that's open and close uh, bracket okay and then we're gonna put in the variable that we used there the ts file which is file src so file underscore src okay so when we go to our page okay it will load there so that's our default image now we have to create a function 
to upload the image. So um, node uh, npm already has that function. That's what uh, that's uh, you call. They name it as ng to image uh, upload. If I'm right, yeah, that is ng to image upload. So in order to, we have to install that um, uh, image upload function courtesy of npm or the package manager. So to do that, we have to go to our uh, project profile folder. And to install that, we have to put in npm install. Okay. And the name of the function is Angular to Angular to the image upload. Okay. And then press enter. But I already installed this one, so just showing you how to install it. So just press enter after putting this. Uh, or command in your uh, get bash okay so when you install that in when you successfully install that it will automatically be shown in your node modules okay but you have to define that module that uh, uh, image upload module in your uh, app modules so that's in the app folder uh, app module.ts okay so that is this one import okay this uh, writing this uh, code import image upload module from angular to dash image dash upload okay and then you have to copy this image upload. Okay, copy. And then we have to paste it here. Okay. Image upload that for root open close parentheses comma. So that's in the import uh, section. So you have to add that. Okay. So after that, uh, you go to your add component HTML. Okay, add component uh, HTML. This one. Okay. So just above the our default uh, image, we have to put in uh, open and close tag. Uh, okay image upload that's it okay so if you load your page yeah it show you the option okay the upload image uh, function and this is our uh, default uh, image so um let's try it out you select image for example this is me look okay so that is our um photo now if you want to clear it let's press clear or Let's, uh, or you could uh, click this X button so it will clear the image okay but the thing is um, we have to modify the default uh, setting for the upload image because um, I don't want it so we have to change it so let's try to tweak it 
Okay, in order to change it, we have to go to the node modules. Okay. We have to go to the node modules here. Okay. And we like, we're gonna look for Angular 2 dash image upload. So Angular 2, here it is. Open that folder, go to the library, and then the image upload. Okay. And then we're gonna get we're gonna uh, need to modify this one. Image dash upload that component type changes. So this is the compiled version of the TS file. So, because what happened is when you install um, this um, uh, package, uh, it's uh, reading by default the compiled uh, JS file, which is this one. So, so we have to modify this. Okay. Um. Yeah. This is that. This is my way to modify the CSS. So here you can see that this is a template, okay, and this is the styles. So this styles is the one that we're gonna modify, okay. So let's uh, check what are the selectors that we are using for the file. So let's see. Um, first, um, let's go back to our uh, page. Okay, let's try to load an image. Okay, so that's the photo. Okay, I want to um, remove this clear button, but we have to know what what's the selector of this uh, button. So to do that, let's do the um, use the Chrome debugger. By pressing F12 in your keyboard. Okay. Okay, we go this, uh, we're gonna click this uh, option okay, so that we could see the elements. Okay, so let's try, okay, to see that. So it is named label.clear.button. Oh, sorry, label. Button. Oops. Is it? Yeah, that one. Label that clear that button. So let's go to our image upload component, the chess file, and we're gonna insert here label that clear that uh, button. Okay. And, and open close parentheses and I'll just copy and paste so that to save time. Okay. So we set the visibility to hidden so if you want to uh, see it. And the height to zero pixels. So now, when we um, so let me get an image. Okay, you could see that uh, the clear button has been removed because we uh, add a CSS style. Okay, what else do we have to change here? Oh, uh, we have to. Um, we have to change the position of the photo a bit uh, a bit near to the top. So to do that, we have to uh, modify the CSS again. And also, we have to change. We have to remove this drop your image here. We do not need that. And we're gonna modify this uh, select images text. Okay. To you know the name of the selector of this image. So let's check using our Chrome uh, debugger. So that's, you can see here that 
that's a uh, dot image class this one Oop. okay so what we have to do is some um, change the location of that uh, image so we're currently looking at that image class so we have here this one that image and then we're gonna put the top to negative 50 pixels okay and then okay um we have to okay we're gonna insert the height and width Height of 20 pixels and width of 200 pixels. Okay. Again, uh, what else do we need to change? Okay, we have to remove the this dropper image here and select images. Okay, so to do that, we have to go to our add uh, component.html. So we're already done with this. Um, node module so we just need to push that let's go to the app add folder and let's go to the art component that each demo okay so as you are uh, if you able to see the documentation and the image upload um, there is you would be able to set some parameters here so to do then add these uh, following parameters here max is this uh you could only upload so you could set how many pictures you want to show or upload so at the moment i, I set it into one so the, the user could only upload one photo at a time okay but a uh, button caption this is the one that um, if modify uh, by default it's showing a select image so we, we replace it to be a select photo drop back message we set it to none okay blank extension file extensions these are the only acceptable image files to be uploaded jpg jpeg gif and png files okay this pending all we then we do not need to, to set it at the moment but let's just let's just set it as default on file upload finished okay uh, we're gonna use it later on and on remove so this on file upload finish so as soon as there's an image this is the function that will be uh, fired or triggered on remove this is a function that will be triggered so we're going to build that later on okay so let's see our image uh, sorry so let's now see our page okay it's currently refreshing at the moment as we have changed our file okay so you can see here we modify the select photo okay and um, the default uh, drop file here has been removed as well okay and then we try to select our image okay so you can see the photo has moved upward okay and we try to remove that okay it show it only show the default okay but the thing is okay okay um there is a default image showing below so we have to remove that okay In order to remove the default uh, image, 
let's go to add component HTML file okay so as you could see here the this um as you can see here this event on file upload finish then we're gonna call this function image upload image uploaded and then we got a parameter which is an event so we just need to copy that function image uploaded copy and then let's go to add component.ts okay we're gonna insert that function okay so then close parentheses and then the parameter we set is file and then it's um, data type is any okay now we're gonna use a jQuery for our selector so we but so don't forget to declare your um, dollar sign here about declare the dollar sign because we're gonna use a jQuery for that so we're gonna so after the image has been uploaded we're gonna trigger this function so I've just added the image uploaded function and insert uh, we put the parameter there file we then added with the data type of any and we inserted a jQuery command so this is the dollar sign that we defined above here declare var dollar sign is any any data type okay and then we're gonna have um, a code a jQuery code so we put in the selector which is the image tag and then that hide so we hide it okay so uh, what else but um, but we have to put something as well that uh, when we remove the image it will show again the default uh, image file so to do that we go again to the add component html file so here's the event on remove we're gonna call or we're gonna fire this uh, image remove function so we need to copy that as well copy and go to add component uh, h uh, add component that is then we're gonna insert that function okay all right uh, we could just copy this one file Actually, that is um, the file or the image that has been uploaded. So what we have to do, we just copy this image and show. So that's that's it. So let's try to check our um, page. Okay, so we are, we are in the add. Okay, by default, it shows uh, default image. Okay, but when we try to upload a photo, okay, it only showed the photo. So, but if we remove it, it showed the, the default image.